All right, guys, welcome to the studio. And today we're gonna have another Hick Micro review, and it's going to be a most affordable thermal camera on the market from Hick Micro Thermal Telescope, as they call it, LC06. So it's basically a six millimeter lens device which has basic options, basic functionality. Uh, but let's see what it can do and what we can get with it. Uh, I'm gonna get straight to the point uh, regarding the distance because I think this is uh, quite important for the, most of the people. According to the internet, uh, and I must say uh, I have looked through this device and I can say that the specs are quite accurate here, you can spot a rabbit uh, at the uh, distance of 65 meters, it's the detection range so called, and then there is a recognition and identification ranges. Uh, you can recognize that it's uh, a rabbit in 16 meters and identify which rabbit it is. Is it yours or from your neighbor uh, at about distance of uh, 8 meters. When it comes to the person, you can uh, see the person from uh, around 230 meters. Uh, 57 meters is the recognition distance and 28 meters is the identification. Uh, the vehicle you will spot at around 550 meters and I must say I think it's it might be a bit higher than that I've been spotting a car at maybe seven eight hundred meters but it's like just a, 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 a spot you it's it's hard to tell what it is um, recognize a car at 139 meters and identify which car it is at 69 meters Let's open the box, but before that, we're gonna look at the price. So at the market, at least in Sweden, you can get it for around 5,000 Swedish kronos, a bit less than that. So that's about 500 bucks, maybe a bit less than that. 450, 470, 480, something in, in that range. Let's see what's in the box. And this is not super important, but, oh my God, where's the scope? Well, it's right here, charging up right here with a cable so that I could show you how the app looks because you can actually uh, connect this device uh, to your phone and still be able to do quite amazing things. Uh, but inside the box we have cloth, a manual. There are a lot of features in the menu which are not explained in the manual, but there's a link to the online manual which you can download and check it out. Then inside the box there is a, a device over here. I think I can disconnect it now and yeah, just uh, Put it back here like so so it looks nicer huh and then there is a small box over here and a little pouch which has a nice feel to it and then a usb cable which is also a nice detail but if you have decided to buy this one then you will get something with it and that's quite nice let's look at the device uh, how it looks and what kind of control things it has first of all it has a small uh, lens cap this is the six millimeter lens as you can see here it's not possible to adjust it or make some sort of a focus here. It's just uh, permanently fixed over there. Uh, there is some sort of a sensor over there. I actually have no clue what it is and I couldn't find it in the manual. But this device also has a range finder. It does not work, I can tell you that. Um, yeah, so it's better to say that it does not have a range finder. There is an on-off button. Uh, taking the, You can take the picture with this button. There's uh, menu button but you have to hold it and wait for i don't know maybe 10 seconds or so um, and then there is a zoom button which gives you um, yeah i'll show you how it works i think it gives you two four times digital zoom which is going to get into that in a second and then there's here a small focus adjustment knob this is for your eyepiece um, it's not great but it does its job so I could say it's, uh, yeah, it's quite okay. And you could see it just moves. Let's see. Yeah, it just moves the, the lens here back and forth. At the back of the device, there is a tripod mount, which is again, a very nice feature. Um, and a USB-C charger, again, a very nice feature. So in theory, you could put this on a tripod uh, connect the power bank to this device, uh, go to the yeah, hunting house and from your phone you can monitor the territory. So let's see how it works. Uh, to connect the device you have to enable the hotspot from the menu uh, and it's just a simple yeah, 
any item. Uh, then you have to enter the password uh, for the device. And for me, it was a bit difficult because I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I found out that actually it's the serial number of the device. So yeah, and in the in the instruction they say it's uh, nine digits, but my serial number starts with a with capital F, and that worked if I would enter that one with capital F. So let's finally open it. But I'm gonna now take a look at the uh, yeah at my kitchen over there, and. Of course, it's something which goes through the Wi-Fi to my phone and from my phone to the screen of my other uh, phone. And it's not the best quality uh, transmission. But if I look through uh, the scope, I can quite clearly see what's going on there. And I'm looking at the kettle at the moment. And the temperature of the kettle, I think, is going to be around yeah, 35 degrees. I've measured this maybe 10 minutes back, if not more than that. And it was 53, so I would say, yeah, about, I would say maybe 40, 38 degrees Celsius. This is how you can see it. And now this is how the menu looks uh, here. Basically you can adjust, uh, I think it's the brightness. That's it in the middle. You can adjust the contrast. Uh, you can adjust the zoom. Okay, it's two and four only. Not six. And yeah, it looks like. And then you have different modes. This is nice. Uh, you can get the white hot. You can get the black hot. Actually, I really like the the black hot. And why I can show you if I look at the different subject here. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. You know what? I'm actually going to record this because I can. Oh, look at that. How cute. Okay. You see, so I would say that the, the black hot makes the gives you the best picture. And of course, when I look through the ocular, uh, it gives a much better picture here, quite crisp. Uh, but the distance to my cat is like below two meters, maybe. Yeah, maybe two meters, exactly. And I don't know if I can show you how it, what you can see on the screen. The TFT display inside the device is quite decent, I would say. Quite decent. All right, um, it is, I think, for the money, you, it will be really hard to find something cheaper and that performs the same way. So I would say if you would like to get started with something, yeah, that's a great thing for you to have. Now, but let me know, guys, what you think. If you have had experience working with this device, uh, you could see that the refresh is, rate is quite high. So, yeah, the performance of this thing is quite nice. Uh, the battery time, I think, is around two hours depending on how you use it, of course. Uh, some people say they could use it for up to six hours, uh, but they turn it off all the time. Yeah. So yeah, please uh, share your thoughts in the comments down below. If you have experience working with this one, uh, tell me what you think. I'm actually looking for someone who have been able to hack uh, this little lens and make it uh, adjustable, focus adjustable. Uh, I don't know if it, there's a lot of sense in doing this, but uh, yeah, if you, have no, if you know someone or if you, know how to do it uh, please leave your ideas or comments down below it would be really really nice if uh, the community knows this and of course consider subscribing to the channel hit the like button because this will help me get more reviews of these nice devices on this one i'll say thank you so much and goodbye